Hello everybody and welcome back! In this video I will explain what functions you can add to the customizable buttons of the DJI Spark Remote Controller. The Spark Controller has two customizable buttons, the Function or FN button located on the front side and the Seat button located right under the Camera Shutter button. So let's power up the Spark and start with this tutorial. In the controller menu, tap on the remote controller icon. Scroll down a bit and here you will find a section to customize the buttons. The same functions can be added to both function and seat buttons. By customizing them, you are actually creating a shortcut to specific features without navigating through the controller's menu, but by simply tapping a button. The first option in the list is called navigation. Although the name may confuse you a bit, it is actually referring to the intelligent flight mode menu. If you assign this function to the seat button, for example, when pressing it during the flight, the intelligent flight mode menu will come up on the screen, letting you quickly choose from one of them. Camera setting is the second option. You can assign this to the seat or FN button. When pressing it, the camera menu will come up and you can adjust the settings as needed. Replay. This one will trigger the library section of the GoFor app. Here you can replay any of the recorded videos or see the pictures you took. Battery info. This one will show the battery info on the screen. It is useful if you want to quickly check the battery level and the temperature. AE Lock Unlock. You can lock or unlock the auto exposure by simply pressing the C button if you assign this function to it. If you lock the auto exposure, means you can turn the drone in any direction and the exposure will stay the same. If the lighting conditions will change, the exposure will stay the same. This will not happen if it is unlocked. In this case, the GoFor app will calculate and adjust the exposure for you. Camera forward or down. This function will quickly turn the camera down in a bird's eye view. Pressing the button again will turn it back up. The last function that can be assigned to the customizable buttons is FPV mode or follow mode. This one refers to how the gimbal will act during the flight. It can stay steady, trying to maintain the horizon line no matter how the drone turns, or it can react to the drone's moves. I hope this was useful. Thanks for watching.